Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't let the paralysis of analysis keep you from making money in these markets. You need to be very, very careful. Uh, you need to think about some of the ideas that we're tossing back and forth and use them in a way that can produce some further profitability into your own portfolio. Uh, we're seeing gold trading about 1650. There'll be some resistance around 1688. Uh, but we think gold's in a solid trading range here, and it's really the only way to have a strong prospect of making any money. Again, you know, we're suggesting for the average investor, the wealthy person who watches our website, that, uh, you know, no more than 15 to 20 percent in any one particular investment area. Gold shouldn't be holding any more than 7 to 12 percent of your position at this time. We encourage you to trade with stop loss limits. And uh, if you want some specific option strategies, please give me or Al a call on 781-380-8888. The days of reckoning are upon us. I hate to sound like some kind of crazy guy. The days of reckoning are upon us. The crisis really never ended. You know, there's been this delusion in the markets that the crisis was over at some point, and now we were marching forward. We're not marching forward. You know, we're marching very, very slowly. And uh, we're not always going forward. We're going sideways and backwards and all that sort of thing. And so, you know, we need to be aware that the crisis never really ended. The United States is actually very fortunate. Uh, you know, we're not in the situation where our banks are falling apart and we're dependent upon foreign states uh, to keep us afloat. Now, that, you know, some of you will disagree with that statement, but we're not in a, in a situation where we have to rely on anybody to bail us out. We can work our way out of our own situation. But the U.S. is particularly lucky in oil and gas. And I, and I, I have to say this, you know, I mean, the solar, wind, they're great stuff. Over the next couple of centuries, they're going to be great. But in the next two decades, we need oil and gas. We need to stop letting the Saudi lobbyists keep us dependent upon foreign oil. We need to build up our own internal inside the U.S., physically inside the United States, supply of oil and gas. And we need to develop it. And we need to take steps to protect our environment. But there's nothing like shipping billions of dollars overseas, hundreds of billions of dollars overseas, to pay for something we could take care of perfectly within our own borders. And, and it, it, from a strategic and economic standpoint, the boom that would be provided to the U.S. economy simply by developing our inside the U.S., within our own borders, uh, domestic oil supply is phenomenal. We could meet all of our needs. Uh, using our internal supply. And I think it's nutty that we don't. Uh, the commodity decline, which you've seen, has also been caused by slowing demand. Now, we spoke of slowing demand starting in China maybe eight weeks ago. So it's not news to you. Um, but the commodity decline has been caused by slowing demand. But the commodity prices caused, the increase in commodity crisis caused a slowdown. So it's a kind of a vicious circle that's getting played out. On the oil front, uh, oil supply can increase at any time and demand is down. So we're looking at uh, oil in West Texas prices to be delivered around $65 a barrel, uh, around $65 sometime in the next 12 months. So we see this going structurally down. This is very consistent with our view of things. And you've seen a number of notes in our written portion that talk about the decrease in the oil price. We also want to mention to you that we're going to have a special on Frontier Rare Earths tomorrow. And uh, please look uh, for a video commentary as well as our uh, uh, written commentary on Frontier tomorrow. I hope you have a great day. Keep swinging and don't get paralyzed by analysis and miss out. Thanks.